everyone, welcome to the Halloween special. As you can see, there's a creepy Miranda floating above the ground over there. We are getting ready for my family to come over tomorrow. We're not gonna do like actual trick-or-treating. We're gonna do trick-or-treating just at our house, like from door to door. Cause we just are playing it super duper duper safe. I'm Prego and my sister-in-law Jessica has a little tiny baby. I am feeling very pregnant. I am having a hard couple of days. I feel really fatigued and like really big and just very, very uncomfortable. I'm officially bigger than I was um, ever with Flynn. I delivered Flynn when I was 36 weeks. I'm only 32 weeks right now, but size wise bigger than I was with Flynn. I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> so it's hard for me. Like I have all these ideas in my head because my head doesn't feel pregnant. Just my body does. So my brain, I'm like, I wanna decorate this. I wanna do this. I wanna clean up this. And like I stand up and I can only go a few steps before I'm like, I have to sit down. And so that's very frustrating for me, but we're gonna have fun. I'm trying to think of fun stuff that we can do tomorrow on Halloween as a family, um, fun games and things. So get ready for the fun to me. Okay, so right now, I need to clean up the living room a little bit. You can see there's a ghost behind me over here. I made two ghosts, but this one fell. So I have to fix that ghost and I have to clean up this room. It's probably gonna take me 50 times longer than it would if I weren't pregnant. Let's see how this goes. this tiny child chair can hold away from me. Freaking kidding me! Just finished tidying up this room. Right when I was done, I sneezed and peed myself. Oh no! So now I have to go upstairs and change my pants and my underwear because I just peed all over myself. You know, I'm sitting on the couch, was probably getting on the couch. Life of a pregnant woman. This room is cleanish enough for now. I am exhausted, but I'm covered in my own pee. I gotta go. <sighs> okay, that was an experience. I changed my clothes, came back downstairs, and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right, so right now, I am gonna glue some stuff together for my costume. It's Halloween now, so you guys will know what my Halloween costume is. Um, by the time this video comes out, you'll have seen it. I'm going to be Mayor Humdinger from Paw Patrol. This is what Flynn wanted. Flynn wanted to be Marshall from Paw Patrol, and Eric is Captain Turbot, and I was like, ugh. I don't wanna be the only one not participating in this family costume. So the only character I felt like would fit my big belly is Mayor Humdinger. He's kind of like the bad guy, honestly, but he loves cats. He wears a purple coat, so I have his purple coat. I'm gonna put it on and figure out where I wanna glue these cats to my costume. Next order of business is filling up the candy bowls for the different rooms for trick-or-treating. Like I said, we're having trick-or-treating in my house. I think there's gonna be me and Christopher with the kids as they trick-or-treat, or Eric and Christopher with the kids as they treat. And then Corey, Jessica, and Eric or someone in the rooms passing out the candy. So we can go to different rooms, but I think we need three bowls of candy, maybe four. I'm just gonna do four. So I have these little Easter <laughs> bowls. They're like the perfect size. So don't judge me that I don't have Halloween bowls. I'm gonna be Bowls. Obviously they're gonna get candy, but I also wanna be like health conscious and not just give them a bunch of candy, but make them feel like they got a bunch of stuff. So we have raisins, fruit snacks, dried fruit, <laughs> Cheez-Its, and we have lots of candy. We also have glow sticks, glow finger pointer things that light up. So I think it's fun if the bowls like light up. I put like things in the bowls that can turn on on Halloween. Make it like a fun, oh you can't see that, but that's really cool. Okay, this one's broken, so that's really cool. So then the bowl like lights up and it's like, oh my God, there's so much cool stuff in here. Ta-da! Now I have all these different bowls and I'll crack them all so they're all lighting up on the actual night of Halloween. But I'm just 
prepped for tomorrow. Now, don't think I forgot about the average folk who are gonna be trick-or-treating. I'll get into that right now. We're not opening the door for trick-or-treaters, but we're gonna put a bunch of candy outside. So I have a big bowl of candy for people who are trick-or-treating, and I do the same thing for them. So there's like fun light-up necklaces, lots and lots of candy. Um, I don't really give healthy stuff out to trick-or-treaters, just to our own kids. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what we got going on in here. My family's coming tomorrow, and this is what we've got. We've got some ghosts over here, some spooky eyes floating around the room. We have over here these little bags that I just painted and drew on. And this is gonna be like a, a white elephant type game. So I'm gonna put stuff in the bags. And this is where the food's all gonna be. We have our cookie decorating area because celebrations in the kitchen. My favorite cookie baking place ever sent me more cookies for us to do on Halloween, which I thought was so freaking sweet. I'm really excited about that. I think the kids are gonna have a blast. I'll show you what we got in here. This is what you see when you enter the house. Ooh, spooky. So we've got spider webs over here. And the scariest thing of all, baby car seats and baby stuff <laughs> that I haven't put away yet. We have all these spider webs. Then I put up all this stuff over here. And these candles, the floating candles actually light up. I just have to turn them on when everyone gets here tomorrow. I have this cool light thing. <laughs> I tried to cover up my paintings, but it didn't really work. And then Eric hung up Miranda up here which is actually the scariest part of the whole house. And then all around the house, you'll find things like this. These little bags, they're kind of hanging everywhere in the house. And that stuff is for trick-or-treating. We also have a smoke machine. By the way, I didn't go like buying a billion things for this. Most of this I had for Miranda shows. So like I always have extra material and stuff for Miranda costumes, Miranda props. And so the green is actually the Defying Gravity cape I used in my last Miranda show and I just cut it up. And then the black is just, we always have black and white like generic sheets to use for stuff. For some reason we had, we had this like the light gobo things. I did buy the spider webs and the floating candles. There's all these little things like everywhere kind of around the house, like cute little spooky things. I bought those. Oh, but we have a smoke machine and that is from Miranda show. I used to do a show where it was Miranda's funeral and we had smoke machines in that show. So hopefully I'll be able to get that up and running before everyone gets here tomorrow. Whew, I'm so out of breath guys, I gotta go to bed. I'm gonna shut it down today and tomorrow it's Halloween. See you when we wake up. Happy Halloween, everybody. Okay, let's talk about the new plan for the day. Things have changed. You know how I like decorated my whole house, made like a white elephant game and we had cookie decorating situation and like we went all out, like took two days to decorate the whole house for my family to come over and celebrate Halloween. Well, it's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> So last night, Flynn, we noticed as we were putting him to sleep, he had a little bit of snot on his nose and we were like, that's weird, he never has snot, but he's a toddler and toddlers are snotty, right? So we didn't think anything of it. And then at about midnight, he woke up crying and he was really snotty, not snotty like a brat, like snotty, like literal snot. And he was kind of up most of the night, kind of whimpering and had just like a runny nose and congestion and the runny nose and congestion, no fever or anything, but um, snotty. And it looks to me like just an average, like small little cold, like a toddler would get. We don't know how he got a cold considering we are like, we don't do anything and we don't go anywhere. So it must have been like a quick grocery store trip one time he caught it or I don't even know. It's so weird. We're not sure if it's like a cold cold or if it's like allergies or what's going on, but we want to be safe. And my brother and sister-in-law have a lot of kids. And if he is sick and he gives the cold to their whole family, that would be not good. They have a baby and all that. So just to be safe, <laughs> we're not doing the Halloween party. <laughs> and I'm really sad, but I'm also like, my concern is with my kid right now. So I just wanna make sure he's okay. And today he woke up at 6.45 and was like, I wanna do shadow puppets. I wanna play games. Like he has so much energy. He's not acting sick, but he still has that runny nose. So hey everyone, it's the next day. And I just wanted to give you a quick update so that no one's worried or like coming to their own conclusions. We did take Flynn to the doctor and we got him tested kind of for everything because we wanna be super safe since I am pregnant with twins and there's a lot of kids in my family. Everything was negative. There's no COVID. Eric and I even got tested for COVID negative. It's just the sniffles, maybe a cold, maybe allergies. We're not sure, but we wanted to play it super safe. So my family came over for trick-or-treating and we all wore masks to be safe. And we let Flynn trick-or-treat at like two houses, but we went to the ones where there were no people and there was like a bucket outside. So I just want to explain all that before you guys continued watching. So anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. We're just being super duper safe. So they might come. We're going to lay low and just kind of have movie time. So we're kind of in pajamas right now, watching movies and trying to play 
play quietly and see what's going on with Flynn. Like I said, he seems totally fine. He's like happy and energetic, but you can hear he has a like congestion. So Eric and I feel fine. Well, I mean, I feel fine as far as like, I don't think I have a cold, but I'm certainly pregnant. So it's hard for me to tell him like, if I was sick, I wouldn't even know because I would just assume all my symptoms were from pregnancy. But anyway, that's the tea. So you're still gonna see Halloween fun times with um, me, Eric and Flynn and possibly Corey might come over. But other than that, the rest of the family, then we're not gonna come over and do all the games that we thought we were going to do. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a little bit when the festivities begin. Okay guys, change of plans. Obviously my family can't come and like hang out inside the house and trick or treat, but they were like, what if we just came to your door and trick or treated? And I was like, I like this idea. So they're gonna come over. What they don't know is that my pregnant Excuse me. My pregnant donkey has moved a lot of the decorations outside with Eric, so they're still gonna get haunted, spooky time. I'll show you what I've done. There's spooky floating candles and spider webs and a ghost. So the first place they'll trick or treat is this door. Then we have to go down this alleyway of spookiness all the way to the ripped little piece of fabric. <laughs> Listen guys, I had like a half hour to do all this, so not the best. I could have done a lot better had I thought this through a little more, but we only just got this idea like an hour ago half, no, Daisy, don't go outside. Oh my God. And the other door. Do you know who I am? No. Who's that? The boss. Who's Bruce Springsteen? You don't know who Bruce Springsteen is? No. Is he a singer? I mean, you look like Eric Stocklin. You look awesome. You've never, you don't know who Bruce Springsteen is? But how is this different what you wear every day? <sighs> you literally wear that bandana every day, lovey. You look very cute. Okay. And then over here, there's another door you can trick or treat at. So candy here. So they're gonna have to walk through the spider webs to get to this door. More candy for this your treating door. Move the cookie stuff outside. I don't know if they'll be able to do it. So here's the spooky green thing. It took them through my spooky material. Over here, we have a bounce house where they can go in it and get more candy if they need to. And then Eric made eyeballs bucket. And there's a ghost. So that's what we were able to whip up. I think we did a pretty good job for being last minute. Daisy, get in the freaking house! Time to get dressed, but first I need to like lay down. I think I need a nap. Okay, I just need to put on my mustache, but something I was not expecting was my stomach completely not fitting in this costume. <laughs> I still have to put on a mustache. All right, Mir Humminger has a blonde mustache. My brother and his kids are almost here. Flynn has decided he doesn't want to wear his costume, by the way, so Eric and I are dressed up as Mayor Humminger and Captain Turbot from Paw Patrol, and Flynn is not. Corey just showed up, and Flynn insisted that Corey dressed like Chase from Paw Patrol, so all the adults are dressed like Paw Patrol, and Flynn is not. Look at Captain Turbot is here. And I've changed the color of my mustache because I took off the other one. Will stick now? No, this, well, that's, yeah. What's, that's classic, yeah. That's this classic. is pretty good. That's classic humdinger. It's not comfortable, but it is classic hummy. All right, my family's almost here. <gasps> I hear someone here. Oh, too bad for you guys. There's no trick-or-treating at this door, unfortunately. But I do have something. I have trick-or-treat bags for you. They've decided to come to this door first. Oh, here they come. Hi, Rulu. What do you say? Trick or treat. Trick or treat? Okay, fine. Who wants candy? Me. Nobody wants those raisins. <laughs> there's raisins, there's There chips. you go, donkey, the raisin town. There's toys. Oh, Iron Man found a candlestick. Oh my goodness. Getting spooky. He's such the cutest banana in the world. <laughs> okay, at this next door, they can only get trick-or-treating if 
they find eyeballs. So we'll see if it happens. Did you find an eyeball? That's great. That's close enough. We got the eyeballs. Good eyeballs. job. Got an eyeball. It's buy one, get one free. Oh, we found the truck. We found the trucks. Bonus. <laughs> Apple crisp. Those are Kim Godalucci. Here you go, buddy. They cleaned us out. Oh no. <laughs> there is some candy in here, but the problem is the only tiny brave people can go in there. You have to be small and you have to be brave because it's covered in spider webs. Who's small and brave? I think small Parker's small enough. Brave. Okay, Bailey, who are you? I'm Sophie Foster from Keeper of the Lost Cities. Of course. I'm Sophie Foster's adoptive mother from Keeper of the Lost Cities. Adeline. Adeline, that's a cute name. Adeline. And Teddy. Teddy, Teddy Bear. Teddy I took off his hat. <laughs> Get the picture. I get the idea. And who are you? I'm Kate from the Mysterious Benedict Society. Of course, you look amazing. Christopher, I He's a banana. Yes, and you need more cowbells. But I know, need... I left my cowbell in the car. Ah. I'm, I'm Gene from the cowbell sketch. Gene, I never knew his name. Yeah, because I go, don't blow this for us, Gene. Okay, got That's it. That's funny. It's amazing. And Jacob is? Iron Man. And he made this himself. Yeah. From scratch. Well, from foam, but yeah. That's incredible. You look amazing. Let's put on the helmet. I gotta see the whole thing. Is it kind of hard to put on? Okay, you know what? Never mind. You're fine. You bend over how I bend over. <laughs> Whoa, sweet. His eyes wide up. Oh, that's amazing, dude. This is epic. You look so good. I'm very impressed. And Duncan, who are you? Lucky the Penguin. Lucky the Penguin. My family left and I've switched costumes to Juno. Check it out. I'm Juno. I'm way more pregnant than she ever was in the movie. My family left after we did some trick-or-treating and we've just kind of been playing with Flynn. They brought us caramel apples and chicken noodle soup, which is so nice. And I'm so excited to eat chicken noodle soup. It smells so good. We sent most of the cookies home with them, but I saved some for myself to decorate later tonight. We're gonna go trick-or-treating to a couple of houses with Flynn. I'm probably only gonna go to one house before I give up. Where are we going? Look at this. Are we gonna go trick-or-treating? Cool costume, dude. You look amazing. Remember what you have to say when you get up there? What do you say? Trick or treating. Trick or treating. You look so cute. That costume is so good. They want to see it. What'd you get? Cute. They got like we got like two more candies. Look at Whoa, that. Man, that's amazing. This is incredible. Okay, let's go to the next house. All right. <laughs> Okay guys, I know, I didn't feel much else. I was just being mama bear today with little snotty McGee. He is just like having congestion issues. I don't know if it's like allergies or like a little cold coming on or what, but we're going to the doctor in the morning just to make sure he's okay. Cause she a paranoid mama. So we're gonna go make sure everything's okay with him. But that also means I don't know how much I'm gonna be vlogging the next couple of days because I'm just gonna be like 100% Flynn making sure everything is good. Last night I didn't really sleep much because of symptoms I was having and then also he was sick so I was up with him. And tonight I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. I'm having a lot of Braxton Hicks. So between the exhaustion and the pregnancy symptoms and his health, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog the next couple of days. I will try, we'll see. But I will say this. I was all ready to end this vlog by saying like, it's Christmas now, Halloween is over, now it's time for Christmas, we're decorating for Christmas. I still might decorate a little tomorrow, but I don't think I will because I finally have found someone that has made me not want to decorate for Christmas immediately on November 1st. And that is Flynn Stocklin. And it is only because I don't wanna do anything unless he's feeling 100% and like wants to do it with me. So the fact that he like might be sick, I'm like, well, I can't decorate for Christmas while he's sick. Like I have to wait till he's better so that we can do it together. Like he has to help me decorate the tree and like get excited. Like I don't want to do it if he's not feeling good. I don't think I'm gonna decorate tomorrow, which is crazy. I know it doesn't seem crazy to the rest of the universe, but for me, that's kind of crazy. I want him to be excited and like have fun and be energetic. Now he was energetic and happy and having fun all day today. He was totally fine. So during the day he's fine, but I still just, I don't know. I think I might postpone decorating for Christmas until he's feeling 100% better. I also feel like I need to take it easier because I feel like all the things that women do when they're trying to go into labor, when they're like 40, 41 weeks pregnant, I feel like I don't want to risk doing any of those things. I don't want to go into labor anytime soon because I want them to stay in there as long as they can. But like when we were going trick or treating, I was like, I think I'm walking too much. I'm walking too much. I have to go home. What if I go into labor? Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out. So I need to try to take it as easy as possible and like just be lazy and lay on the couch and watch movies this week. Ha, like that's going to happen. But I'd like to try. So we'll see if I give you guys any content this week. 
right, I'm just talking in circles. But I love you guys, I hope you all had a happy and safe Halloween. And oh, I'll put up pictures of my Halloween costumes, the Mary Humdinger one, and then we did Juno. That's what we wear this year's Halloween. As Halloween, I need to go back, okay, goodbye. I love you guys. Ooh, I no tortilla talk tonight. Just leave a comment and ask me questions or what you, what you want me to ex answer. Oh my God. <laughs> ask questions for the next time I do tortilla talk so that I have something to answer in the comments below. I love reading all the comments and I love answering questions from the comments. So ask me whatever you want. And oh my God. Oh, the little boy just kicked me in the bladder. <sighs> Good night.